Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I am going to be conducting a test. I finally got out, it's not raining, it's not 105 degrees with sweltering humidity where I'm instantly drenched the second I walk past the threshold of the door. Now, here's what's going on and here's what I'm testing. I have the Insta360 RS 360 one inch sensor edition. <laughs> How these guys come up with these dumbass names. Uh, anyways, so I've got this 360 with the new double one inch sensor. The last time I tested it, it looked like shit. It was incredibly jumpy. You could see the seam line a lot. I don't know if that was from operator error or if it was just a shit copy or if this thing's just a piece of junk. You'd think that it wouldn't be because so many people have posted these amazing videos with all their stuff and you know who knows I'm, I'm gonna go with operator error because you know I'm a dumb monkey and sometimes I just don't do shit right and I've never really played with 360 cameras before so we're just gonna say that it's probably my fault now the other thing that I was testing was the audio now the audio since I don't have the, the little clippy thing that goes on the outside of this thing so that you can uh, hook your Rode Wireless Go to the outside and it sort of blends into the, like, out of the line of sight, I tried to order one of those things and it was, of course, back-ordered. And it's also expensive. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, with the amount of money that I spend, it probably wasn't that much, but I didn't feel like dicking around with it and having to buy this stupid thing and then clip everything off to it and then get a vertical or a horizontal adapter and all that shit. So here's what I've done. I've taken this thing, I've put it on top of my Ulanzi ball head, which is connected to this Ulanzi power grip stick, whatever, external battery that I put the tripod feet onto those ZDO aluminum tripod feet. And then that has a USB-C cable plugged into that, which is then plugged into this because of course I decided to go for a walk and I had it on the selfie stick and all that shit. And I looked down and it was almost dead again. So apparently it's losing battery life, even though I'm not using it, which is kind of annoying, but okay. That's why I have all these damn devices to be able to deal with that kind of shit. Now, the next thing is, is that because I tried to plug in the receiver for the DJI wireless mic, it doesn't show that anything was plugged into it or that it was gonna record audio. So because you can use the transmitters independent of the receiver, you just have to be able to push the right button or whatever uh, so that this thing will record. So what I did was I pushed the button on this to start recording audio then I push the button on that to start recording video and then I'll have to drag the audio over from from this device and put it in fo uh, Final Cut to try to match up you know against my voice and since I'm not using any kind of audio adapter or anything on here I don't know if it's recording its own internal audio like shitty audio or if it sounds okay it didn't really sound good the last time i tried it so i'm just going to assume it sounds like crap or it's not recording at all all that aside it's gorgeous out it's only in the 70s it really isn't that human i can actually breathe semi-normal today without feeling like i have you know i don't know like a wet napkin in front of my face while i'm trying to breathe normally so that's cool now i have spent the entire day, other than when we went to breakfast this morning and swung by Michael's on the way home, and a brief jaunt to go out and get smoothies for us, I have been sitting inside, to my horror, on a Friday, all freaking day, doing day job stuff. Now, tomorrow, I don't think it's supposed to rain, and I don't think it's supposed to be gross, hot, humid out, so first things first is I might get up in the morning since I'm gonna be up early in the morning and just go straight to Pleasure House Point and see what I get early in the morning. Because most of the time, 
I don't go until like the middle of the day when it's at its hottest. Maybe if I go early, I might get something a little different. Now, I have to remember that because this is a 360 camera, that I don't have to turn the camera like this to go over there and show you that because it isn't gonna show you anyways because I'm looking at myself on the, on the screen. But I could just change it when I'm doing the edit. Now, what I wanna know from you guys is how does this look? I mean, when I get it back and I look at it myself, I'll be able to see if it looks like shit like it did the last time. But, you know, you guys went in there and you were just like, oh man, that seam line was so visible and distracting that it was horrible. And it was so jumpy and jerky that when I was walking by that little dinosaur park thing that, I mean, it looked awful. And I wasn't going to post it because it looked so awful, but I wanted everybody to see how freaking awful it looked. And, and I don't know why. I don't know why it looked that bad. I thought that all of that shit was supposed to be addressed in this device, meaning that I wouldn't have to pull the footage into their software to put flow state, make it nice and smooth. My understanding was that with this device is that you no longer have to put everything into their software to fix it, that it should be fixed in camera whilst you're recording it. So that footage shouldn't have been so jerky and looking horrible as if it weren't stabilized at all because it's supposed to have the flow state stabilization automatically burned into it when you're doing the recording. Just tripped on a pine cone. See now what's interesting is that I'm not moving this but it isn't holding me in the center. Jesus, that was stupid. Now I'm really dizzy. <laughs> okay. I think I've tested this enough, meaning I'm tired of holding this damn thing up and I want to enjoy the rest of this walk. So I'm going to just stop it now. At this point, I think we've got enough footage. We're at 20 minutes. You might not, you're definitely not going to get a 20 minute video, but uh, you know, I just wanted to see how this all works out now. Let me know what you think of the footage. You know, did you see the seam a lot like the last time? Was it jerky? Were you expecting it to look better like I know I was last time? Is it disappointing? Should I just throw this piece of shit away? Let me know. So down in the comments, just hit me with it. Let me know what you think. Okay, so that's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.